Okay, now let's take a look at the exchange market. Okay, so draw a graph of the foreign exchange market for the U.S. dollar, showing how a change in the price level affects the U.S. dollar relative to the euro, and how will the Fed's contractionary monetary policy affect the real interest rate in the long run in the U.S. here. Now let's actually answer the second part first here. Um, how will how will the Fed's contractionary monetary policy affect the real interest rate uh, in the long run in the U.S.? And the answer to this here is no effect in the long run. The, the reason being is that money is neutral. So since money is neutral, uh, uh, monetary... has a short run but not a long run impact now when when there's when there's short run uh, impact there there's a loss of jobs creation of jobs so to be sure short run impact does have an impact but the idea is that in the long run uh, mon money is neutral. Money isn't really uh, the whole point of the economy. The whole point of the economy is is growing, uh, growing the economy, and money might stimulate one way or the other in the short run. But in the long run, money actually has has no power to actually create uh, economic growth in the long run. So let's draw a, uh, a graph of the foreign exchange market of the U.S. dollar here. Okay, so here's the quantity. Of dollars okay now this is again since this is the x-axis is dollars you want to use euros per dollar so here's the supply and demand the exchange rate here so this is the supply of US dollars this is demand and you get E1 right here and you get Q uh, Q1 right here uh, the change in the price level. So this is dependent on what you had before. Now the change in the price level, it went down. Okay. So if the change in the price level goes down, things become cheaper in the United States, and therefore the demand for U.S. currency is going to increase. So demand increases from D1 to D2, and you have Q2 right here. And you have E2 right here. Okay, so the quantity of US dollars is going to increase because the demand uh, for US dollars increases. And so, what happens to um, the value of the dollar? So, the dollar has appreciated because demand. For US dollars has increased. So hopefully being able to see how you tie the aggregate demand graph to the uh, money market graph, how you tie that to the exchange rate graph, hopefully that makes sense. So a lot of these FRQ problems are going to rely not on just knowledge of one graph, but being able to see the connection between the two. So uh, it, it's more important to understand the, the reasoning and the logic and the flow. So theoretically, if you got this graph right, but it was based on a previously wrong assumption, uh, then you, you won't get credit on the AP exam. So it's make, make sure you know the impact that interest rates will have on the exchange rate, uh, the, the impact that lowered interest rates have on the aggregate demand, and see how these graphs actually connect with one another. Thank you for watching.